Anil Ambani led Reliance Group has reached a standstill agreement with more than 90% of its lenders under which they will not sell any of the shares pledged by promoters till September. Under the pact, the group will pay the principal and interest amounts to the lenders as per the scheduled due dates, while it has also appointed investment bankers for part placement of the group's direct 30% stake in Reliance Power to institutional investors. India's first semi-high-speed train, Bande Bharat Express, also known as Train 18, successfully completed its inaugural run from Delhi to Varanasi on Sunday. Tickets of the first commercial run of Train 18 have been completely sold out for the next two weeks, as mentioned by a senior Indian Railways official on Friday. The government's disinvestment proceeds have touched Rs 53,558 crore so far in the current fiscal as against the full-year budget target of Rs 80,000 crore. Last week, as much as Rs 10,000 crore came in from Bharat 22 ETF and another Rs 5,379 crore from the sale of specified undertaking of Unit Trust of India stake in Axis Bank. You may soon be able to walk into a shopping mall and try on clothes with the India size tailored to suit the body measurements of the country's populace. In March, the government will launch an exercise to measure a group of people to prepare a comprehensive India size chart which can be adopted by the country's apparel industry. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley is scheduled to address the customary post-budget meeting of the Central Board of the Reserve Bank of India on Monday and highlight the key points of the interim budget including the fiscal consolidation roadmap. The meeting, according to sources, will take a call on the interim dividend to be paid to the government during the current fiscal. The government has issued a set of guidelines to set up charging stations for electric vehicles across the country, outlining ways to build such fueling points every 25 kilometres. According to the Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry, the government expects 25% of the total vehicles on the roads will be electric vehicles by 2030, necessitating to erect robust electric vehicle charging infrastructure across the country. Gujarat's diamond city Surat has made it to the international aviation map with the first Air India Express flight arriving here carrying 75 passengers from Sharjah, the airline said on Sunday. With this, Surat has become the 20th destination in the country for the international budget arm of the flag carrier Air India, the airline said. Mm -hmm.